Today we're going to be doing intermediate. I'm going to show you traditional grip and I'm going to show you. This is Clayton Skinner. Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Beat. Hello, my name is Clayton Skinner. This is Beyond the Beat. And in this episode, we're going to go over triplets. Most people believe that a triplet is just a grouping of three notes. Well, that's not necessarily true. Yes, obviously it is a grouping of three notes, but it's a specific grouping of three notes. Specifically, a triplet is when you subdivide any note by three. So you can get, for instance, eighth note triplets, 16th note triplets, 32nd note triplets. You can even get quarter note triplets. Now, ideally, you want to take a specific note, let's say a quarter note, and we'll subdivide it by three, which means that you chop it into three pieces. That there becomes an eighth note triplet. If you take a eighth note or an eighth note and you subdivide it by three, you get three sixteenth note triplets. So we'll start to see a pattern here. So every time you move up, chop it in three, and then that's what you get. So you'll probably come across a many a triplet in your travels. I'm going to focus specifically on the eighth note triplets because they're the most common and they're also the easiest to explain. Now an eighth note triplet again is when you divide or subdivide a quarter note by three. So if you subdivide four quarter notes each by three, you'll get 12 eighth note triplets. Now because each quarter note there's three eighth notes, every time you hit a one, two, three, and four, you're going to notice that your hands have shifted. You're no longer leading with your right, if you're right-handed. Now the way you count a triplet is one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. So I'm going to demonstrate that, and while I'm demonstrating, I want you to count along with me. Now you'll notice that I accented on all of the ones, twos, threes, and fours. If you remember, an accent is when you play a specific note louder than the other notes. Now you don't always have to do this. An accent is good to allow you to know when the quarter notes are occurring. There doesn't have to be an accent so long as you have just a minor pulse indicating where all those quarter notes are. So I'm going to leave you with this. Make sure that you practice this a lot. Make sure it's smooth and consistent. And by consistent, I mean if you're going to bring your right hand up this high, bring your left hand up that same height. That will make sure that every hit is the same because that's important. And I'll see you next time.